Hello everybody and welcome. Today we're going to talk about range anxiety. Yes, this is the amount of distance that you can drive your vehicle with the amount of energy that's in it. This doesn't apply just to electric cars, it applies to fossil fuel cars for gas and diesel as well. On a recent trip all the way to Wyoming and back in my diesel truck, I had range anxiety pulling a trailer. The predicted range is a guessometer type of thing, and as we saw in my trip, the range kept getting less and less per mile, down to just over 12 miles per gallon. That's not very good when you're considering the gas tank in my diesel truck is 25 gallons. That doesn't give me a whole lot of range, and so I was kind of anxious to make sure that I had enough fuel to get to the next diesel stop. In an electric car, people also have range anxiety. So for today, if we look, we've got 41%. That's 135 miles of range. Now, that's a long way. However, there's other factors. If you run into headwinds or whatever, it's going to affect the predicted range. If you plan with the Tesla at least, the navigation will calculate wind speed now, elevation, and temperature to better give you an arrival percentage to make sure that you're happy with that. Today's trip, we're headed all the way up to a place called Hendersonville for lunch with Richard and his wife, Annie. After that, we've got a few errands to do. We've got to run into South Carolina. I drop my wife off for an appointment, and then I'll be driving around on 41% or 135 miles of range. So just for fun, what we're going to do, we're going to take the trip meter here, and I'm going to get rid of this shop here. We'll do this, and we're going to call it range, and then we will go ahead and reset range here. So this is the actual miles that we're going to drive today. The car with the predicted 41% or 135 miles of range is going to guess that we can go 135 miles. My experience shows if we run into any significant terrain going up a hill, which we are, of course we're going down that hill, we'll get some of that back, we're going to see just how far today's trip has gone and the differential between what it's predicting here of 135 miles and our actual range here shown on the trip meter which I have zeroed out. We made it up here to Hendersonville and uh, we've got a little ways to go. We're headed to the grocery store and then on to lunch. Now you don't see this every day. Honda with a self-driving car. Look at that. Isn't that great? They must be sandbagging here, the best I can tell. There's no one in that car driving it. Just leaving the Hendersonville area here now. I've got 91 miles of range. And uh, 28%. It's plenty to get home. We're just on Interstate 26 here now. 27%. 85 degrees today. A little warm. 25% now, down the road a little bit. We're now back in the town of Columbus. We've arrived here with 24% or 78 miles of range. Got a little ways to go yet to get to the house, so we'll uh, mess around here for a little bit and then head home. Let's have a look at the trip meter now, and as you can see, we've actually driven a whole 45 miles today. It was hot. 88 to 90 degrees. While we park for lunch, the cabin overheat protection ran. It uses up some of our range. We end up with uh, 70 miles of range. So I started with 135 and now it's at 70 and that's 65 miles difference between when we started and when I got home. As you can see, we actually drove 45 miles. What's that mean? We gobbled up 10 miles of range through the cabin overheat protection and the difference between the guesstimate of the car and our actual usage here going up the highway and down the highway and doing a few errands in the process. 
The takeaway is, is that this is a guesstimate in your electric car. Tesla does a very good job in dealing with an estimate, but it just can't figure out exactly where you're going to go and what you're going to do without putting it all in the navigation, which I did not do. So it gives me a relative range. Fossil fuel cars are exactly the same. You can't change physics. Should you have range anxiety in an electric car? I say no. I don't think so. I think in a Tesla, the estimate's pretty darn close. Of course, as you drive it, it gives you a constant update upon your arrival, and you know exactly what your arrival percentage is. This makes you feel comfortable knowing whether you arrive at a supercharger or a DC fast charger, or you're arriving home to charge the car. These days, the more popular cars are pretty good in estimating. Some are not. However, I think if you pay a little bit of attention, you will not have range anxiety. So drive confidently. Charge your car more if that's what it takes. But drive your electric car to wherever you need to go and feel comfortable what the instruments are telling you. Thanks for watching. I'll look for you in the next videos and take care.